I am totally a run out to the bathroom. <laughs> Are you? a secret, <laughs> if I can, if I can okay, make it. I can make it. You need to burp in front of people. Okay. Do you cover your mouth or just belt it out? No, cover my mouth. Lady. Lady. My turn? <laughs> sure. All right. All righty, ready? Yes. I want to know the truth. <laughs> like, fully. <laughs> I swear on my honor. You need to fart. Oh! Okay. Do you do a silent and deadly one? Hmm. Or do you run off to the bathroom and do it in secret? I am totally a run out to the bathroom. <laughs> Are you? In secret, <laughs> if I can, if I can okay, make it. You can make it. And then if I can't. Silent but deadly. It's gotta but be silent. But by the way, can you choose for it to be silent? Like, <laughs> no. Who's got control you just, over that? You just clinch really yeah, hard okay. and hope. And hope <laughs> okay. for the best. Got it. All so right. that's probably somewhere in the middle of Lady and Lady. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate times. Do you prefer watching sports or going shopping? Oof. Watching sports. What? I never thought you'd say that. Oh, I hate shopping. I hate shopping. <laughs> Are you seriously like yeah. the most fashion plate person I know? Oh, thank you. <laughs> face full of makeup or hashtag no filter? Hmm. No, I'm a face full of makeup girl at mm. all times. I don't even think I'd go out to the food store without You're mascara kidding. on, probably. Wow. I don't think I have a concealer's got to conceal some of this, you know, <laughs> under a darkness. <laughs> but other than that. Oh, I know your answer for this one, and it's probably the opposite of my answer. Sneakers or stilettos? Ooh, what is it? One, two, three. Stilettos. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I knew we'd be opposites on that one. As I sit here in slippers. Wine or beer? Wine. Wine. Yeah. Yeah, Oof. it's a problem. Jeans or a dress? Jeans. A dress. Yeah. We covered that topic. <laughs> Painted nails or bite your nails? <laughs> Painted. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. OK. Uh, designer bag or tote bag? Probably designer bag. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Probably designer. Even when going to my sports events. <laughs> Eight hours of beauty sleep or three hours of drunken sleep? Oh. <laughs> Wait, are you asking which is more fun? Or no, which which I, I demand do. in life. <laughs> I'm gonna take three hours of drunken sleep. Oh, same. <laughs> well, the waist training is for reals. Yeah, it is. It is like, we wear these things for 12 hours a day. It takes 20 <clears throat> minutes and two people to get each individual person into one. And they're so, they're so beautiful and they really do um, I think, immediately pull you back in time, literally, mm. to the confines that women were under during that time. And there's no way to escape that, knowing that the men are never wearing them and that we have them on at all times, even when cleaning and cooking and doing housely chores. And it's just a reminder of the confines that women were under back in the day. I have a tendency of when I hear something that I find interesting or funny, whether it's the way somebody said something or whatever, I'll repeat it. And I don't necessarily mean to do it out loud, but I, I do. And I just remember we were in this table read and I had like a couple pages that I wasn't speaking. So I was like taking a nap basically. And Toby just out of nowhere goes, he was having a conversation with, with somebody else and, and basically said the word poem instead of poem. He said poem. And I, I just was in such a daze and then I went poem. And then I just like busted up laughing. And uh, the rest of the shoot, he referred to poems. Because we mention poems. poems a lot. Yeah. <laughs> She's a poet. Yeah. And so it's become the only way that everyone now says poem. But poem. he never filmed it once without saying it <laughs> his original way. And it was drive, I think it drove the editors a little bit nuts because they even brought him in to try to reloop it and say poem normal. No. And he, he refused. Didn't. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, well, it's incredibly professional, and, and something like that, you know, I think only really works if it's done tastefully, and we had an amazing director, David Gordon Green. Between him and Elena, myself and Ella, I think we created a space that we all felt comfortable in, and, you know, there was nobody in there that didn't need to be there, and it was... Except I was oddly there, I'm not sure why. Were you really? Just right chilling. under the camera, oh, just great. making sure everything was good. Right. <laughs> no, I was um, not <laughs> I was under the bed. Uh, no, it, it just it was a it's a beautiful scene. It's a beautiful relationship that they have, mm -hmm. and and uh, it was a it was a great a great day on set. <laughs> Imagine it just like miraculously started raining. They're like, shoot it, <laughs> make out. No, it's uh, it was a rain machine, uh, and it uh, added this element of you know fantasy. Uh, this is like. It's like Jane was just saying, we, we've kind of mold, molded those two together and, and everything is wildly accepted um, and in reality or fantasy. And in this case, you get both.
it was so much fun. I, I am a huge fan of his and uh, was so excited that he wanted to be in this show and, and loves it, by the way, which is so cool. This show obviously is driven by, by Emily's poetry and in her poetry she talks about just about everything and, and death being one of them. And she views death as life, as creativity and freedom and color. And um, I think Wiz is so creative and, and so fun and has the best sense of humor and a great outlook on life and just wants to have a good time all the time. I thought he was the perfect representation. I think Elena Smith, our creator, kind of had him on the walls at the, mm -hmm. from the get-go. Uh, so it was really awesome that we were able to get him. Not that I recall. Uh, we, of course, talked about music. He'd been working on a record. He was working on a record at the time uh, that I believe is out now. And um, yeah, I don't know. Much like Emily and any conversation she could have with another creative mind, it's always fun to, even even having conversations with, with Jane and the rest of our cast in between takes, you know, to have a creative conversation with another creative mind is always pretty exciting. I think it's something that's so special about our show, too, that Elena Smith has created a world where fantasy is part of our world, mm. so therefore we can, the show can kind of go anywhere, because once we accept death and your conversations with death and the bumblebee and all of the sort of heightened fantasy elements that come out of the poems, poems, <laughs> we can, poems. <laughs> we, um, I feel like the the show then can kind of go anywhere because she's opened up the world to reality and fantasy. Well, I think that this, this show generally is about not putting people in a box and it's about being seen and being understood and feeling 100% okay being unapologetically yourself. Uh, and I was able to take away um, a newfound fearlessness after embodying this character and I think that's an easy thing hopefully to pick up on while watching it.